is this is a public service. Dun, dun, dun. How you doing, man? It's going pretty good. Driving some breeze. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's a camera. Yeah. It's okay. A camera. Is it Eddie or Edie? Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. How long have you been with Port Orange? Uh, coming on 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Wow, that's a 20 years that's a stint right there. And March. Wow. Yep. You been on motors for a while? I've been on motors for 16. Okay. Or almost 16 years. I ran into uh, a sergeant that's on motors. Uh, how many sergeants are on motors? There's only one. It's uh, Sergeant Gaver if it's recent. Yeah, that's Gaver. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to ask you what you think of him because you, you probably shouldn't talk about it, other officers, but he uh, he seems to be really prickly, uh, have a real prickly disposition. Oh, I can't speak for how he was. Yeah. Well, I no, I'm not more in general. But yeah. You uh, you enjoy it? I do. I do. I love the job. Yeah. Yeah. How many more years do you plan on working? Oh man, probably another five. Yeah. Yeah. At least another five. Hope to. Hoping to stay in motors that whole time. I'd love to. Yeah. If I can. What? Uh, is there something that prompted you to stay? Like I know that some people they go and become a detective or whatever. Is, it, is there uh, something? Detective like is pretty much lateral to motors. They're both specialty positions. And I just hey, just so you know, I have to record just to talk. Okay, again. well I'm recording too. Recording so there we too. go. There's no reason to worry about that. But I, no, it's pretty much lateral. Either you want to be a detective, or you want to be on motors, or you want to be a canine, or something. They're all. Like, talking to people, I want to be on the road, not stuck behind the desk. Yeah. I enjoy work school zones every day, I work crashes every day. You write a lot of tickets? Not too much. That's good, that's good. I mean, if someone deserves a citation, or really needs a citation, I, I'm not too lenient in school zones. School zones are a big thing for me. I mean, people that are double and triple in the school zone speed, they, they're going to get a citation more than likely. Mm. And, I mean, you gotta keep the kids safe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, right on. I just out. I'm just getting an oil change, around. so uh, yeah. uh, I was just killing some time, and I saw. I I didn't know it was uh, an officer. Yeah. Anything. No, I just got off of a crash. Figured I'd come under here, get some little breeze. And yeah. A little shade. Right Before on. The next school, we got middle school coming up. Okay. Yeah, right on. Yeah. What? Uh, if, if somebody asked you a question and, and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights it was something that you should know the answer to, yeah. would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to the question? Job yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell me what those five freedoms are? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get into a back and forth about that. Okay, well, it was a question about good faith, so it sounded could like... You, could you tell me? what they are? I absolutely could. Okay, okay yeah. I'd, like, I'd like to know. Okay, but... If so, I don't know all five on the top of my head, maybe I'll learn something from you. Okay, so, I, I mean, I'm not looking for an admission that you didn't know, right, right. but really the question was about good faith. Right. So, you know, uh, if I tell you you're not really making that good faith, I'm happy to tell you, but you're not really making that good faith effort, I'm making that effort for you. So, you know, absent me telling you the answer right now, would you have gone, like if I gave you my email address, would you have gone and, and found out what those things were and followed up with me? If you were trying to get a work-related question answered by me. Yeah, man, this is this is I the first look, thing. Like I, this is, you swore an oath to this. Yeah, this absolutely. is the very first I, I, function of your I'm, job. I'm aware of the Constitution. Yeah, it's so. just I don't want to get into the whole First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Second Amendment. Yeah, no, I mean, we're just having a conversation yeah. about, about good faith. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I would we, always, any, regardless of constitution or not, I'd always make an effort to uh, answer a question that someone would need, whether okay. it be statute related or anything. Yeah, so I mean, I, I encounter this a lot where where officers automatically, they, they think it's some instigative thing where I'm trying to get into an argument when I'm just, I mean. Yeah, I'm not here for that. Yeah, well, I'm not here for that either, right? Uh, you have um, a pretty good demeanor. I, I don't mind talking to you. You're yeah, well, I, I, I give what I get. So right, you're absolutely. you're coming off to me pretty cool, so I'm being pretty cool with you. There's no, no reason to be otherwise. So, I mean, is it? what do you think it is that 
I mean, is it just that officers in general, and I know you can only speak for yourself, but shouldn't we welcome conversations about the Constitution in this country? I mean, I'm not sure if you're, I'm not sure what your perception of what's going on in America is right now, but, you know, there's there's a divide, there right? Is. And And I think that, I mean, and I'm not even saying that there wasn't a divide at any given time in history. I'm just saying that there's a stark divide right now. And, it, and I think that having conversations about our history, having conversations about the Constitution can, can rectify some of these divisions. I, I would hope that they could. So, I mean, I, 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 yeah, I'd like to think that coming up to an officer and having a conversation about the Constitution or having a conversation about the First Amendment was something that, that was welcomed and encouraged and you know, something that you were having anyone. to do. Like I, like I told you earlier, either I could have sat behind a desk or I could be out here on the motorcycle. Yeah. I'm out here because I want to be with the community. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to people. Mm -hmm. It helps the day go by. It helps us bridge that disconnect. Yeah, right on. And I, it's just, I don't mind talking to people. All right. So there's uh, there's an acronym that makes it pretty easy to remember. Uh, it's RAPS, R-A-P-P-S, RAPS. RAPS. It's religion, assembly, petition, press, and speech. Hmm. Yeah. RAPS. RAPS. Yeah, I appreciate that. I learned yeah. something. Yeah, so you know, I, I, think, uh, I think it's vitally important. You know, I, I talk to... A lot of officers, a lot of officers, and I, I've yet to, I've yet to meet an officer that knows the First Amendment. I've and, never heard of that acronym. Yeah. Right. yeah well, it's an easy everybody, way to remember. Everybody knows your uh, freedom of religion, freedom of uh, assembly, stuff like that. But all five, I couldn't have named to you. Okay. Well, that, see, I, and that's even I, I, I appreciate you uh, saying that. I would. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, most most officers would be a and little more. I might more, forget that. That, uh, acronym also. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that I think when you have a conversation with the, like this with somebody and and you're receptive to information, I think that we retain that information yeah. a little more readily than than if like if I had if I had just got dove in when you said, oh, I'm not going to have this conversation. I started being an asshole about it. And then I said, well, you don't know the First Amendment was a real big asshole. Then you probably wouldn't have had an open mind and been probably receptive not. to yeah to, to even having a conversation so you know I, I think that I mean I, I can't speak for your memory so right nor right. mine mine's pretty shit also but uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. It, sometimes it's how the conversation goes down and it doesn't make any one person in that conversation feel like they're being interrogated they're being questioned yeah the, and the way you yeah and i'm not out here to make you look yeah. like a fool you know that's why I, that's kind of why i frame the question in a good faith way like you know it's okay to know or to not know something we don't know everything right i mean look at all the florida laws am i supposed to expect that you know all that no but but if you don't know i mean make a good faith effort i mean i i think as the people that's that's the the least that we can can and should expect from from the people that work for us, you know. Just like with your uh, all those amendments, you might know the most common part of that constitutional amendment. Yeah. But you don't know the other three or four things that aren't too common. Right. But they are encompassed in that. That's true. So, yeah, kind of. I mean, the first things. example being a, a first amendment being a prime example, like. If trust, you know, most people say, oh, everybody knows speech, right? Everybody knows religion, right. you know, and assembly popped into your head. But very few people know petition, you know, they say, oh, redress, you know, because it's petition for redress, you know, right. it's your petition for redress. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's there's nuance to, to the amendments. And uh, I mean, I'm not out, I'm not some constitutional scholar, you know what I mean? I just. I like I like having these conversations, and I think they're important. So that's that's kind of why I have them. Constitution's important. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're we're a beacon out here. There's not uh, you know there's no other country that has a constitution like us. A lot of other countries mirrored their constitution after ours, but um, they still didn't. You know, I think that's the thing about government is the government doesn't ever want to yield control or yield power you know the constitution was written to restrain government it wasn't made to restrain the people 
So when other when other countries are making their constitution, I think that those people in power, I think that they have that in mind. You know that we need to retain some of this power for government and and not relinquish it to the people. You know our our framers had their flaws, but they had amazing foresight and amazing depth of uh, of thought right. and. Uh, to, to frame the, I mean, even the Constitution as it's laid out, it's been twisted and contorted, and we have kind of what we have now. Right, where right. It's, it's, it's an out-of-control bureaucracy that, that, that is just kind of stepping on the people. I mean, I imagine you feel that just in the taxes that you pay to the federal government, you know what I mean? So, you know, we're, we're not spared from the largesse of government, you know, but the Constitution is for that. Well, hopefully, hopefully we will be. Hopefully, hopefully the Constitution... It doesn't continue be getting worse. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't. It's yeah. better on us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Good talking to you. Yeah, likewise. All right. So, uh, one more question. Yes, I, I probably wouldn't have noticed it, but as I was walking up, I did notice that you're a smoker. Yes, sir. Right? Okay, so, are you going to pick those Absolutely. up? Fair enough. I just, when someone's walking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's professional not to be I, smoking. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want people, when I'm talking to them, to be blowing smoke in my face, yeah, even right. being a smoker. So, yeah, I put it out because I saw you approaching. All right. Yeah. yeah. No biggie. All right, cool. Well, uh, it was nice meeting you, nice talking to you. Well, my next school zone. All right, well, be safe. All, all right. right, take care. We're out here today to ensure our natural rights are respected by those who swore an oath to support protect and defend the rights of the people. The purpose of all interactions is to peacefully promote government accountability and transparency. Please like, share, and subscribe so this message can reach as many people as possible. I implore you to peacefully seek redress to any and all of your grievances. This is a public service.